All right, welcome back to the Aston Villa career mode. Today, as you can see, we start the episode off with a game against Wolves. But before I get into this game, I just want to say to you, you just need to turn the picture quality up to 1080p. It automatically puts it in 720, which makes the gameplay a bit blurry, all the video a bit blurry. So just go on to, like, tap the screen. It should, there should be a settings thing. And then I think it says, it might say quality. I don't know. Let me have a look. Hold on. Yeah, so it says quality, press on quality, go to advanced, turn it up to 1080p. So yeah, that's just the way to get the best quality of the video in 1080p. So it's not blurry or anything, so it's clear. But we start off the episode with a game against Wolves, and Moose the RB just goes on a mad one, runs through the whole team, and puts it into the top left corner, literally three minutes in, from kickoff to make it 1-0. What a goal from the Frenchman to put us in the lead in the local derby. What a goal by Moose the RB. Wolves had no chance. Right, cash on the ball here. What can he do? He's driving forward. Zaniolo's there if he can find him. He does find Zaniolo into Watkins. Watkins gets his shaft. That's a good save, but Ramsey wins the rebound. And Watkins scores to make it 2-0. And I just realised that I've changed the lineup as well. Forgot to tell you. So I've brought Ramsey and Wendy into the squad, I think. It might just be Ramsey. Can't remember exactly what I've done. But Wolves would go on and get a chance here. Martinez with a huge save to keep us 2-0 up. And we'd get another chance. Diaby on the ball. And he gets taken down by Huang Hee Chan. And we get to see the ref footage here sending him off. Straight red. I think that's a bit harsh to be fair. I know it was a bad tackle, but like we weren't really in a goal scoring situation. But we'll take it. 10 men down against Wolves. We've got a free kick here. Don't think I'm going to put Diaby on it. Yeah, Dougie's got the best free kick. 42 free kick accuracy on Diaby. Surely not. Can Dougie find anyone? No, it's going to go straight out by the looks of it, yeah. Straight out, poor. Zaniolo wins it here. Can he go through and score? Zaniolo, he shoots. How has he not scored there? That should have been three. Right, Wolves got a corner here just before half-time. We don't want to concede here. Torres gets it away. They get the rebound, but he goes wide. 2-0 up at half-time. It's a solid performance so far. Right, Wolves here. Samedo on the ball. Into Bellegarde. Got sent off against Luton yesterday. Into Mateus Cunha. He gets his shot off and he scores to make it 2-1. He goes to grab the ball. It was a decent little goal from him. I think Martinez could have saved it though. Wolves could have another chance here. Samedo. Why is no one putting a tackle in? Mateus Cunha gets another shot off. That is a good save from Emmy. All right, Wolves are all over us now in these last 10 minutes. Eight Norris played into Cunha. We get the tackle in. We need to get the ball away. Wolves get the shot off. Martinez is carrying right now. We can't keep this ball away from them. Doherty now for them. And Cunha. Oh, Konza, what are you doing? And Pablo Sarabia's punished us with two minutes left. Konza's just gave the ball away. And they've got to made it 2-2. Why do Villa always bottle it against Wolves? We do it in real life as well when we lost 3-2 a few years ago. At least we didn't lose. We got a point, but we should have won that, man. We had a big chance for Zaniolo as well. We could have won 3-2. But we shouldn't be conceding like that. It's poor. Oh, that is a frustrating match because you always want to beat Wolves as well. And we haven't had the greatest start to the season, I'm not going to lie. All right, next up, we've got West Ham at home at Villa Park, back at the Fortress. I think we're going to go ahead and sim this game because I feel like we can win this at home with a quick sim. Can we? Yes, we can. We win 1 0. And now it's back to the Europa League. I've gone with a slightly weaker lineup, but it's still a really strong lineup. I mean, look at that Ramsey, Wendy, Tielemans, McGinn. Look at the squad depth. Diego Carlos. We brought Leng in because I think they were going to terminate his loan. We want to keep him in. And it's against Zurich. So I think we can go in here to Simnes. I'm pretty confident that we can beat them away from home. And we do. We win 2 1. Jacob Ramsey scoring. Right, now we've got Luton at home. I'm also going to sit in this one because, come on, it's Luton. We should be able to beat them. If we don't, I'm going to be pretty mad and pretty embarrassed. Because look at our team compared to theirs. Oh, my God. How have we gone ahead and lost to Luton? Kabore scoring in the 87th minute. Surely we score goals against them. Bloody hell. That is an embarrassing defeat. That is against Luton. I can't believe it. We've got Forrest up next away at the city ground. I think we've learned not to sim it. I think I'm going to play the highlights for this. Going with our strongest lineup, of course. Why wouldn't we? We want to go ahead and win this game after we've dropped points against Luton for some reason. I don't know how we haven't won that. But Zaniolo gets a chance here. Can he score? No, he can't. He's hit the post. For God's sake. We get another chance here, though, by the looks of it. Kamara. Can he find Leon Bailey out on that left? Yes, he can. 
Zaniolo's back post if we can find him. I'm going to try and cross it. I see Zaniolo. What a ball that is. Zaniolo heads it into the top corner to make it 1-0. This guy up front is actually a cheat code. Like, he's been carrying. Watkins ain't really done much, to be fair. Zaniolo has been on smoke. And we pick up all three points there at the City ground. Back into the Europa League now. we got Zurich again. I'm going to sim it. We're at home. we got our strong lineup. We should definitely win this. We've drew 1 1 for God's sake. Why aren't we beating these dead teams? So we've got Fulham at Villa Park. We're sitting in ninth on 18 points, which isn't too bad. It's not really ideal though, because I want to be pushing for top six. Obviously, it's only early in the season. But yeah, we need to go and beat Fulham here at home. Zaniolo is through. Can he score? How has he not scored? He could redeem himself here, though. He's through on goal. Can Zaniolo score? Yes, he can. The Italian makes it 1-0. I wonder how many goals he scored for us now because he's scoring quite a bit, like nearly every game. So he's looking decent. We get another chance here, and it's him on the ball again. What can he do? Can he work his magic? He plays it into Watkins. Watkins finds Diaby. Diaby uses his pace to burn past Tim Ream and sticks it into that top right. What a finish from the Frenchman on his left foot. Spangs it into that top corner. The movement from Watkins. The play from Watkins, Aniolo and Diaby. It's just beautiful. We get all three points here at Villa Park. Things you love to see. All right. Now we've got an even tougher game. Well, Fulham weren't tough, but Tottenham's going to be tougher. Away at Spurs. They're in form at the moment. Obviously, we know. They've just drew 2-2 in real life with Arsenal. Hopefully, we can beat them. We'll see. Diaby on the ball. Can we start off early here like we did against Wolves? Yes, we can, maybe. Zaniolo gets his shot off, and he scores to make it 1-0. What did I say about this guy? He's in the form of his life. He is carrying us at the moment. He's literally scored in every game, I think, that I've played so far in the last like episode. In the last episode I posted, and this one. That is mad. Cash into Zaniolo. Zaniolo's going to drive here. He's got his shot off. Jesus, that had some power behind it. That did, to be fair. Right, Tottenham could have a chance here. I don't know where the defence is. Kulusevski gets a free header, but it was poor. Bailey on the ball. Driving down this left-hand side. Diaby's at the back post. Can we find him? Yes, we can. Diaby with the overhead kick pass. Watkins scores. What What a goal that was. The, the cross from Bailey was perfect. The pass from Diaby with the overhead kick. Watkins flicks it up with his heel and just taps it into the goal. Beautiful football from us. But Tottenham could have an attack here. Richarlison gets his shot off. Huge save from Emmy. They could have another chance here. Son into Richarlison. And no one's closed him down. They've basically gifted Tottenham that goal. 2-1. Still got a lot of time left in this game. We don't want to bottle this. Diaby on the ball. Gets past Son. He gets past the doggy as well. One of the most informed left backs in the league right now. He could actually score. Diaby on his right foot scores. What is it with this guy? And scoring solo goals from kickoffs. He's done it against Wolves. He's done it against Tottenham. And you know what? I ain't complaining. He's a baller. Zaniolo on the ball here. Tries to cut in. Goes with the finesse. Jesus. That's actually a good save. All right. What can we do from this corner? Douglas to whip it in. Pau Torres is there. It's a good save from Lloris. Douglas Luiz now driving through the middle of this Tottenham defence. Gets his shot off. I probably should have squared it there to Diaby. For God's sake, man. But it doesn't matter. We get all three points there away at Spurs. And I don't understand why we can beat teams like Spurs and Liverpool. But we can't beat like Zurich in the uh, Europa League. And, the, and Luton as well. Like, what the hell? And now we've got AZ Alkmaar. Obviously, in the last episode, they embarrassed us. So I'm going full throttle. With our main starting eleven. I'm seeking revenge on these lot. Like, I was not impressed with that 4-0 defeat that we had in the uh, away fixture. All right. Zaniolo straight on him here. They've given the ball straight to him. Can he score? Zaniolo... Oh, I tried to, why is he doing step overs? I didn't mean to do that. They could have an attack here. The fake Odegaard on the ball. He's turned him. He could be through. We've won it. And that's a free kick. What? There's no way that should have been a foul. Please don't concede off this. Oh, for, oh my God. The fake Odegaard has scored again and they've gone 1-0 up. Oh, I swear to God, if we lose to these again, twice in the same group stage, I'm going to be annoyed. They get another chance here. He's just walked past Konza. What? Pau Torres has just been sat down and they've made it too. Jesus Christ. Why can't we defend against these? Like, it's like when they scored, they just turned it on. They've got another attack here. Sugawa, who destroyed us in the first leg. Into the fake Odegaard, who hits it. And it's gone in. He's made it 3-0. It's not even half an hour in yet. What the hell is going on? 
I'm going to make some changes. It's half time. We need to be more attacking. So I'm going to bring. I'm taking Douglas Louise off. He's had a stinker. I'm going to bring. Who do I bring on? Buendia or Ramsey? I think I'm going to go Ramsey. All right. Ramsey's coming on. Can he change the game here? We've got the whole second half. See what he can do. Oh, the Odegaard's got the ball again. Or oh, Odegaard, even. The fake Odegaard. Into Sagawa. We can't be letting him do that. They could have another chance. They are literally all over us. Oh, they've just swayed it on us. Martinez with the save. But they score the rebound and it's 4-0. I actually can't believe what I'm seeing right now. They beat, they've literally put eight past us in two games. Like, what is going on? Like, since when are AZ this good? They're just so irrelevant. Like, how are they doing this to us? It's actually... Oh, mate, I don't even know what to say. We're bringing... Who do we bring on? Tielemans on. He's more of an attacking midfielder, I guess. He's got, a, he's got a cracking shot on him. We'll bring John Duran on as well. See if he can get goal. And we'll bring Emi Wendier on, on the left. Ramsey. John Duran's made that run, and he's got past the, the defender. Duran bodied his way through, and he scored. Go and get that ball, son. I don't know how long we've got left. I don't think it's much. Pick the ball up, you knob. Oh. Um, we've got 30 minutes left. All right. We could... Uh, I don't know if we could come back. No, we are definitely not coming back. We've got one minute. We're four on down. John Duran could get another chance here. No, he gets tackled. That pretty much sums up the performance, really. Oh, I mean, I think we're still going to go through anyway, but it's not ideal. And the fake Odegaard has scored a hat-trick against us. This guy is our worst nightmare. Like... Look at him. He scored three out of three attempts. So the next episode is going to be jam-packed, as you can see, with December. And we've got January as well. We're going to get through both of them. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.